1.25. Now, where should the 1.25 go? On the top with the inches, right? So if you have inches on top here, put inches on top here, okay? Over x miles. Again, just keep things lined up, okay? All right, so we're going to cross multiply the 1 times the x and get 1x. All right, what is 110 times 1.25? 137.5. Now, is my answer going to change if I divide by 1? No. no. So x equals 137.5, and that is miles. We're talking miles there. <coughs> okay. Question on that? Okay. All right. So now, if you know the actual distance between the two cities is 250 miles, and the cities are 2 inches apart on a map, how can you find the scale? All right, highlight this. Scale is an important guy, okay? Scale is going to just tell you it's in terms of one, okay? So in this case, you're going to have one inch. Always put the lowest one first, two, and that's what we're going to find, what the second part is, okay? So always, always, always put your lowest unit first and put it with a one. Okay, and then we'll find the second part in a little bit, okay? We'll find the mile, mile part of it, okay? All right, so now with this being said, what relationship do they give you in the problem? What's the relationship in the problem, in the words? No, what's the... No, two cities is 250 miles, but that's not, we're not, we're talking about the distance between the two cities. What's the other number there, guys? Two inches, right? So they're saying 250 miles in real life would be two inches on a map, right? Okay, you guys have to be able to pull this stuff out. Two miles, two inches. Or sorry, 250 miles, two inches. So 250 miles is two inches. Okay, again, pull the relationship out. This is a review of what was on your video, okay? So pull out the relationship, okay, equals. Now, we know that we have to have a what here? One inch, so where do we put that at? On the bottom. On the bottom. So one inch on the bottom. Wait, no, that's from the previous problem. We're not using that. Okay. So now the question is, how many miles is one inch? So this is what you're looking for. How many miles? We don't know. Okay. So when it says a scale, we're just talking about basically what does one inch represent? How many miles in real life is that? Okay. So you're going to cross multiply. And get 250 equals 2x. So what do we end up with there? 125. Good. 125 equals x. Okay. So your scale on your map is 1 inch to 125 miles. This is the scale. This is what we're going to have for our final answer. Okay. Scale. How far in real life is one inch on a map? That's what we're looking for here. So a scale will always be in terms of one. Okay, one. Okay, anybody have a question on that? Because that that's a little tricky, I know. Okay. All right, flip over on the back. A giant model here is shown below. The heart is an ideal size for a person who is 170 feet tall. Okay, so that's the big heart off to the right there. About what size would you expect the heart of a man who is six feet tall to be? Okay, and then you see pictures again. All right, again, pictures. All right. Anybody got an idea on the proportion here? What do you want to write? Okay, Hannah, what do you think? Um, X over six feet. And then equals... Um, 14 over 170. Nice job. Really nice job. Good job. Okay. So if I'm looking here, right, X is the representative of the heart, so I'm going to put a little heart here. So I've got little heart to big heart, right? Heart to heart. So little heart, big heart. Little guy, big guy. All right. So he's six foot tall. So six foot tall, 170 feet. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so now what are we going to do? Yep, cross-multiply.
cross multiply. Good. 170x equals 84. All right, so now what are we going to do? Divide by the 170. Nice job. All right, when we get on our calculators, when we take 84 divided by 170. Point 49. Point what? 49. Point 49. Okay. So really close to a half. Okay, so now these are in terms of feet, right? So about what's a half a foot? That's equivalent to how many inches? Six. Six inches. All right. So it's saying if you're six foot tall, I don't know, Shiloh, you're about six foot tall? Five eleven. Almost. <laughs> five eleven and a half. Listen to that. Well, your hair puts you at six. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. So if you're thinking about a person about Shiloh's age, according to this particular problem, six foot. So if you think about it, here's like a ruler. So it'd be, I'm oh, sorry, six inches. So it'd be about half of that. Okay. That would be the height of Shiloh. So if you take your fist, right, and you do the height. Okay, so that technically is what they're saying is the height of his heart. Okay, so your heart's usually about the size of your fist. Your heart is small. Your heart is small? Well, you're a little shorter than Shiloh. <laughs> All right, does anybody have any questions? Okay, let's stop there then.